we are going to do some hiking today in our video actually up and down a place called Mount Sinai Shalom and welcome again to our teaching channel. We are so appreciative and really humbled. Uh, personally, I'm humbled that you uh, have found uh, this channel and, and regularly hop on for a visit of sites around Israel and certainly uh, the connections that we make uh, with the Bible. Uh, in case you are new to our ministry, uh, we are called Biblical Israel Ministries and Tours, and we essentially teach the Bible in the context of this land. Now, uh, this is a topography map of Israel that really helps us understand the layout, the topography, the geography of the land. Of course, we are all about archaeology, digging into the past, and uh, making these connections between, of course, the land and the Bible. But as we did in our, in our last uh, video teaching uh, to the pyramids of Egypt, today we're also heading south of Israel proper to the land of the Sinai Desert. Now, I know there are many other proposals for the uh, location of Mount Sinai. There's a couple in Saudi Arabia. There's a couple in the southern part of Israel. Uh, we're going to visit the traditional one today. It's at the very southern uh, tip of the Sinai Peninsula, and it's called St. Catharines. The mountain is called Jebel Musa. It's about 7,200 feet in elevation. And even though the video doesn't capture the night walk up to the top, because we do it at about 1.30 or 2 in the morning, uh, under the stars. I mean, uh, tell, I'll tell you a spectacular experience. Uh, we do this occasionally on our, on our trips, by the way. If you want to see the stars uh, lit up like you've never seen before, uh, a hike up Sinai, especially when there is no moon, uh, is spectacular. So uh, even though this video doesn't capture the hike up, it actually uh, simply captures our walk down when, of course, the sun uh, is up now and uh, we have uh, a downhill hike back to the monastery of St. Catherine. So that's our destination today. Again, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's go now to St. Catherine's in the Sinai Desert. view from this over 7,000 foot mountain is spectacular, especially watching the sun rise over Saudi Arabia. Now there are certainly other sites that have been suggested to be the location of the real Mount Sinai. A couple alternative sites in Saudi Arabia. There's a few in southern part of Israel. But this is the traditional one, located at the very southern end of the Sinai Peninsula. As the sun rises, we'll begin our descent down this mountain. Walk with me as we share this experience together. We actually just walked up Mount Sinai in the dark. 
Behind me is the mountain that we climbed. We left this morning at about one o'clock and we got up to the top about four and we watched the beautiful sunrise over Saudi Arabia. Always an amazing experience to think that perhaps this site of Mount Sinai, even though it's a traditional site, may have been the mountain where Moses received uh, the Ten Commandments. We're walking down now. It's a rather interesting trail. Rocky, camels all over the place. But today we sort of have it to ourselves and it's been a great experience. Six in our group this time made it up to the top and we enjoyed, like I mentioned, experiencing perhaps what Moses did about 3,500 years ago. At the base of Mount Sinai is a monastery called St. Catherine's. And St. Catherine's dates back to the 4th century AD. It's one of the three oldest Christian churches we have in the world. Beside the Holy Sepulchre Church in Jerusalem. Church of Nativity in Bethlehem, and of course now this monastery here in the Sinai. As I mentioned, it dates to the 4th century AD, and I think about 15 or so Greek Orthodox monks still, still live here. One of the thrilling parts of the trail that leads to the top of Mount Sinai is that the top third are actually steps that these monks over the last number of centuries spent their whole lifetime carving out and placing uh, these stones so that uh, we have steps today that lead to the very top. So shalom, shalom, from the mountain of God, called Mount Sinai. So while we hiked up with flashlights to the top, under the star-filled sky, we now continue towards St. Catharines.
Our destination is in sight. As St. Catherine's draws closer. And the camels greet us. It's about seven o'clock in the morning now. And the monastery is now in full view and right in front of us. It's been a great hike up and down this mountain. You know, one experience that I didn't mention in this video was that when we hike up, people actually have the opportunity to ride on a camel. Uh, they can only go about two thirds of the way up because the final one third of the hike is actually up about a thousand steps. And as you heard me explain in the video, uh, many of these stone steps were chiseled and put into place by monks actually from uh, the early centuries after uh, the beginning of uh, the Christian empire, the Roman Christian empire under Constantine. So as I understand it, from the 5th, 6th century, 7th century AD, some of these monks who, who were here, that's all they did. They dedicated their lives to the building of these steps to the top of this traditional mountain called Jebel Musa, or the Mountain of Moses. Now, for me, uh, I'm not really hung up on the location of Sinai. I know if I ever post something about the traditional St. Catherine's location, there'll probably be, be 10 other comments on Facebook of people who will say, no, you got the wrong site. Everyone knows this is in Saudi Arabia. Well, this video is not to to uh, argue the location necessarily, but I think this traditional site is one of those experiences where, uh, and certainly if it actually happened here, and I, I sort of tend to uh, lean towards this traditional site, although the, the sites in Israel are very intriguing to me. And, uh, and, and indeed, these Saudi Arabia sites, you know, who knows? Uh, maybe uh, that was where... Uh, Moses uh, encountered God too, but uh, I, I'm, I guess I'm just saying that this experience up and down the mountain, and I've done it many times now, I think it's spectacular. Uh, just to think, uh, whether it was there or elsewhere, uh, just the, the isolation, the, the, the beauty of the area, and of course climbing, the exhilaration of the hike, I think it all is uh, really life-changing. And just to think, Moses perhaps uh, was there uh, someone who encountered God himself with the Ten Commandments and, of course, uh, that whole Sinai wandering with the Israelites and uh, all, of, all of that biblical history. Uh, if, in, if it indeed happened here in the Sinai Peninsula, uh, it's really, really special to connect those dots and to share uh, some of those experiences uh, with you. So I'm glad again and thankful for your uh, participation in watching us and uh, following our channel. And I hope it's been a blessing to you. So until next time, Shalom. <music>